Hello and welcome Kingdom Citizens, Velocity Banking students, loyal clients. How are you guys doing? In this section, as you know, business opportunities and partnerships, I am going to be constantly adding new material in here to really guide you guys along the way as you're, you know, developing that second stream of income, figuring out, you know, what opportunity, what partnership do I want to get in with Denzel or with someone else that you may know. Um, really just setting the parameters, right? And using real life scenarios, real case studies to just help you along the way, show you the tools that are out there that are available that you can add to your arsenal to build that big, beautiful kingdom that will last forever. So in today's lesson, we are going to be covering the power of network marketing. Okay, it's 2020. It's time that you wake up and smell the coffee, right? It's time that you, you know, lift that chip off your shoulder, uh, get rid of, you know, all the negative things that you have been, uh, you know, consumed with or have interacted with. The industry of network marketing, the power of it has been evolving over the last few years for the better. Um, I've experienced this for myself. I will tell you me personally, I went through about at least six different types of network marketing, direct sales, multi-level marketing structures before I found one or two um, companies that I really wanted to, uh, you know, dive into 100% of the way, right? And it, it took a while, you know, mainly because at the time, I wasn't ready. I didn't have all the information. I wasn't being educated on the power of network marketing back then. Then I would say the other reason is the industry itself, the users, so the people that join the industry, more often than not, you're gonna experience very little transparency. Now, me as a life insurance agent, there is very little transparency in the insurance industry. So I kind of already expected it coming in, but someone like yourself that's new, you know, you never, never started your own business before. When you approach the network marketing industry, MLM type companies, direct sales, you know, referral marketing, affiliate marketing, the transparency is really not there. And this is my own personal experience, but also looking at the statistics, looking at the amount of successful people that come out of the network marketing industry, you know, is not a lot, okay, in comparison to, you know, just going out, getting a career and building up from there. The chances of succeeding at that financially and just long-term benefits do pan out better, you know, in the traditional sense, but in the network marketing industry, it is really starting to evolve for the better. A lot of positive things are coming out of it. And I want to take credit for this. Um, the millennial generation have been approaching this industry totally different from the norm, right? So we're going to cover a real case study on a particular uh, network marketing company called Legal Shield. So we're gonna cover that. We're gonna cover the cost of it, the cost breakdown, the real cost, not what they sell you, but the real cost. And this is coming from a Legal Shield representative, right? I'm representing the company of Legal Shield to its utmost standards. And I'm also a customer of Legal Shield. I own and use the products for my whole entire family. So you're getting a, uh, a very transparent, unbiased view, both inside and outside, both as a business owner, as a consumer, and a, you know, kind of just a viewer, a spectator, right? And you're gonna get all these different aspects that you can approach this when you are looking at other uh, companies that you're interested in joining. We're going to lay out what the true cost breakdown is for most of these types of uh, 
MLM network marketing type companies, we're going to look at the red flags. What do you need to be aware of? What should you be aware of, like alert on, okay, who's, how are they pitching this? How are they selling it? How are they operating, right? There is a lot, you know, not a lot. There is a good, I'd say, portion of um, just unethical individuals mixed with some fraudulent activities, mixed with some Ponzi schemes, right? That exists. It will continue to zick to exist in all industries, right? So being able to just be aware to identify it. We're going to look at the red flags, okay? And then we're going to look at really the reality of, you know, how much money, because that's what it boils down to, time, money, effort, look, how much can I get out of this? How can I incorporate the power of network marketing into my kingdom? And so you're going to get my perspective on that as well. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the lesson. So first things first, we're going to cover the cost breakdown of a network marketing company. We're going to use Legal Shield because I am someone that has bought all of the things that Legal Shield has to sell, their marketing materials, their training, everything, right? I'm, I'm involved in all of it. So I've been going through it and evaluating, tracking all of my expenses and costs to really engage and maximize my, my revenue, my income uh, from this particular stream. You know, I'm working on building seven streams of income. I'm at six right now. I'm at six streams. I'm, you know, working on building that seventh, right? I would list Legal Shield as my fifth, almost fourth largest stream of income, right? Uh, we'll put it in the fifth place, actually, because I, I got some other things that are actually been performing a lot better. So we're going to put Legal Shield in fifth place. And I'm just going to show you the reality of it. And you can use this as a template for other network marketing companies that you, you know, look at, that you identify, that you look at the research, you look at the cost, and you know what questions to ask the individual that's trying to recruit you or trying to sell you into that business opportunity, you know exactly what to ask them. And based on the questions that I'm going to tell you to ask them, if they don't answer them with full transparency, full honesty, guess what? Boom, that's a red flag. So then you can identify, say, you know what? Maybe it's not the company. Maybe it's just them. Maybe I'll look for someone else to work with. Okay. So Legal Shield cost breakdown. They have a one-time enrollment fee of $99. Okay. That has not changed for the, the four or five years that I've known Legal Shields. So that number has not changed at all. 99 bucks. The second thing that Legal Shield uh, has is something called Legal Shield Engage. Now, this is, you know, I'll just write it here. This is like training. Training, website, back office, right? They, uh, the Legal Shield company will provide you with a website and a back office and training and support and really being able to track your commission statements and your income and uh, incentives, uh, marketing material, advertising material, all kinds of things, right? There's a whole list of it. So they charge $20.95 a month. That's $251.40 annually. Me personally, I just paid it for the whole year when I initially enrolled. Legal Shield conferences, okay, this is something that all network marketing companies will have are these big conferences that they put together. Now, we're in 2020, so it's COVID, right? Not a whole lot of conferences going on, but most of them have gone virtual. So we can say, you know, conferences slash, you know, virtual events, okay? And for Legal Shield, based on what I've seen them charging and, you know, where the uh, events are located, 
when you factor in hotel, flights, food, and then the price of the ticket itself. Um, so for example, Legal Shield, the one that I'm going to in 2021, St. Louis, is the, the cost of it is only 89 bucks for the ticket itself. But you know, I'm factoring, I'm coming from Florida, so I gotta factor in flights, hotel, food, and it's about a three, I think it's a three to four day event. Right, so three to four days, I'm in a whole nother state, whole nother town, don't know what I'm doing. I'm probably gonna have to Uber to different restaurants and different places and things like that. And maybe I wanna do some sightseeing. So, you know, I, I overestimate on all of this on purpose to give you the reality so that you don't get blindsided when, you know, say for example, someone in Legal Shield just sells you on this. Oh, Denzel. It's only $99 to join, it's 20 bucks a month to run your business, that's it. But they forgot all of this. And then they'll just bring it up later. Oh, oh, that's just you know part of growing. That's just part of, no, that's not full transparency. That's not full honesty. They weren't being ethical from the very beginning. They were selling me on just this, right? So we don't want that, we wanna avoid that. And like I said, was it the company that told them 99 and 20? No. It was the user, the individual, the person that's selling them. So they're not providing all of the stats. And, and it, it doesn't hurt to share all of this. It doesn't hurt them in any way. In fact, you actually build more trust with the person you're trying to recruit, the person you're trying to sell. So legal show conferences, virtual events, I'd say one to 2,000 bucks for the, for, you know, per year. Granted, they might have maybe two per year, maybe three, maybe they might do it every quarter, just depends on the company. Legal Shield additional training. So, and I'm gonna kinda combine this with Legal Shield additional licensing. So, Legal Shield sells um, legal products that is tied to law firms all across the United States. There are some states such as New York, uh, Virginia, New Jersey, um, there's certain there's certain states that require additional licensing such as property and casualty license or in some cases it's just a money grab from the sit from the state it, themselves they require you to get a license to sell legal products in their state right so I just put you know five hundred dollars for the training that legal shield has like I know I spent like maybe 59 bucks here 49 bucks there another 50 bucks here to go through like four to six hour trainings on products that Legal Shield has. For example, if you go to my website, Legal Shield has these uh, additional benefits right here called commercial drivers, HR benefits, right? These products do not exist when you first join the company. You don't have access to it right away. Right? It's not something you can sell right away. You actually have to go through an entire training to learn more about these products. And it adds to your arsenal in terms of the amount of products that you can sell for Legal Shield. So I just wanted to show you that little example there. And in the back office in Legal Shield Engage, there's a calendar and they have all the different dates, all the different trainings that you can attend. Right, so I just put you know about 500 bucks for the whole year, and then again with licensing, that's about one to two K because I, I'm also factoring in Canada and the UK. You know, if you want to sell products in Canada, they also have different provinces that you have to get licensed and applications, and, and these are renewals, right? You have to renew every year, you have to pay a fee to sell in particular states. What this does, obviously, is um, you add more to your arsenal. You know, a guy like me, um, you know, I'm, I have a big YouTube channel. I have clients in almost every state. So I want to make sure I have the proper licensing if, in fact, I do come across a client that says, hey, you know, I want to do that legal shield. I, I'd like to get a product. I'd like to buy a legal plan, family plan, identity theft protection, um, you know, commercial driver plan. You know, I drive trucks from state to state. These can be very helpful to me. So here we are, one to 2K. Legal Shield products, okay, the product itself, 
right? So not only am I joining the company, I have internal costs for the company, training, conferences, virtual events, licensing, right? But then I need to buy the product myself. I need to be a product of the product. I need to have my own testimony, my own, you know, uh, experience using the product. So, for example, uh, Legal Shield has one product. It's the Legal Plan. It's their main thing. It's twenty four ninety five a month for an individual, and you can add a spouse as well, partner, kids. Um, so it's twenty four ninety five a month, or two ninety nine forty annually. Now, me personally, I have multiple Legal Shield products, so I actually pay one hundred and eighty five dollars and fifty cents a month where I cover my family and myself, that comes out to $2,226 annually, okay? Last but not least, you have marketing and advertising. That's one to $2,000 per year that me personally, I would estimate is how much I would spend, whether I'm buying business cards, I'm buying, I'm, you know, I'm creating a website, landing page, CRM, uh, you know, email marketing system, I'm creating videos, I'm editing, maybe I need an editor, um, you know, maybe I need additional coaching and training. So marketing and advertising is critical to run any business, right? So these are, these are the main costs and there's more, right? But I just want to go to the main stuff here and then I just did a, a total estimated, you know, I overestimated what your costs per year to run the average network marketing business, I'd say 10 grand. Internal cost that are guaranteed, these are the things that are definitely gonna come up, right? And so for Legal Shield, I would estimate it at 10 grand. Now, if you were to add up all these numbers that I put here, it does not get anywhere close to $10,000, not exactly, right? It's like two, four, six, you know, eight, maybe, uh, if that. Not that close. In reality, I'm my first year. I, I probably, I really didn't spend that much. I didn't have to because of the position that I'm in. But realistically speaking, I'd say ten grand, and this goes for any network marketing company. But using Legal Shield, uh, just giving you a real life, real case study here on a particular company. Now, the beautiful part is over time your internal cost eventually goes to zero because of your projected revenue that you can make from the company. When you look at the compensation plans and the, you know, the vast amount of opportunities there are to really create a lot of wealth in this space. So moving on to the next part here is the, the revenue goal, the projected revenues of you know, you joining a network marketing company. Here's how I look at it, okay? And I'm giving you real numbers, okay? So me personally, when I joined Legal Shield back in 2019, for 2019, I made $129.89, okay? 2020, and, th and this was over a three month period where I got this. So I didn't actually, uh, you know, join Legal Shield in January of 2019, I joined, I think somewhere around, I think it was like August or September. So it was only about three months. I, you know, made a couple videos, nothing crazy. I really didn't put any time into it, to tell you the truth. Um, but I did make some money, $129.89. Now, 2020, fast forward. So far, um, I've made $1,569.08. Okay, when you look at the numbers, I 10x my income through Legal Shield. Right now, my goal is to simply double my number each and every year. That's it, just to double it. So my goal from 2019 to 2020 was to simply double this number. Well, I 10x it. Right. So in 2021, and 2020 is not over. I'm in, we're in November as I record this video. So got another month or two left. I might finish the year with uh, probably 2000. So I just wrote, you know, 4K, three to 4K. So in 2021, that's what I project to make. And all I do is double it. 
So over a 10 year period, realistically speaking, doing the same amount of work, talking about a great product, mentioning it to people that I know, going on the internet, marketing, creating videos, write a blog, a podcast, YouTube channel, Instagram page, TikTok, LinkedIn, DM, Facebook, Facebook page, you know, private groups, um, even in-person marketing, direct mail, email marketing, all the above. I dedicate a little bit of time, right? Each and every month, each and every year, I stay consistent with it. I'm not desperate, I'm motivated, but I'm not desperate. So you have to have a certain behavior, certain discipline around this to really uh, you know, move forward in this industry. And you gotta be willing to accept no's and just move on, right? It's okay, right? But here's the thing, when you position yourself as the person to go to for this particular problem, over time, as long as you don't quit, you win by default, as long as you don't quit. So me personally, look, I told you, look, I'm, I'm probably going to spend around 10K or close to it. But I only made $129 in the first year. And then the second year, I'm only at $1,569.08. I'm negative 8K, right? especially if I'm projecting to spend 10K each year. Negative, right? Negative the first two years, I'm negative the third year. Probably by the fourth or fifth year, I break even. Does that sound familiar to an infinite banking policy, breaking even in your fourth, fifth, sixth year? So notice how, you know, in some cases you're willing, you have to understand when you make an investment, yes, you're negative in the beginning. That's the whole idea. Risk versus reward, right? So as long as you stay in the game, you don't quit, you drastically increase your chances of success. So me, I'm willing to put in this amount of money because I know what the turnout is, okay? So imagine I spend 10 grand for 10 years, that's $100,000, but over a that same 10 year period, add all these numbers up. Half a million, quarter million, 100,000, 64K. That's a, I'm a millionaire. By 2028, I'm a millionaire. By one stream of income, that's very key, right? And this was my fifth stream of income. And I can tell you that the fifth stream of income this will eventually become probably my number one, number two stream of income because here's where the power of network marketing comes into play. You have to understand is that you cannot work forever. We know this. This is why we buy 401k plans. This is why we buy life insurance. This is why we have health insurance. This is why we have an HSA account, a retirement account, a Roth, a CD, a savings account. So you're doing all of those things, right? But those things are designed to accumulate and then liquidate. Most of those things are designed to accumulate, meaning you're putting money in, accumulation period, and then a liquidation period. But I hate to break the news to you, that liquidation strategy, you run out of money before you die, right? So that puts us in a very tough position. How can I create a stream of income to protect my activity income? So that stream of income is called passive residual income. I do the work one time, I get paid forever, no matter what. Whether I wake up one morning, sleep in one morning, take the day off, come back next year, I still get that consistent paycheck. You're not going to get that in a 401k plan, in a Roth, I'm sorry. Most of these things liquidate, they run out of cash by the time you hit 85, 90, 
right? And you're still living. You still have five years on the planet, 10 years on the planet, 20 years on the planet Earth. So when you figure out, okay, let's say you're 50 years old and you plan on retiring at age 60. So you have, let's say you have a career job, 50 years old, you've been working at that job for 10, 20 years. So you've created a career position. You've gone up the corporate ladder. Over the next 10 years, you're gonna keep, you know, maybe making um, more bonuses, more commissions, gradually increasing your income, getting raises, promotions, things like that. And you're gonna continue to save money, put money in a retirement account, right? Do all those things. I'm not telling you to stop none of that, right? You can do all that. You can do your velocity banking, your infinite banking, right? You can do all that. Now, what is the strategy around the income, the career? What happens at 60? You leave that job, majority of your income disappears. Now, you're hoping that your Social Security, your pension plan, your 401k, your retirement will supplement that income. Even if it did, the problem you face is taxes and inflation. So your dollars become less powerful over that 10 year time frame. And when you get older, and if you still have debts, oh, right? So when we create a passive residual stream of income during those 10 years, as a side thing, right? You don't have to put in so much time, but the key is you can't quit. You just gotta stay in it. And you create your budget. You create a budget around that. Okay, I'm gonna dedicate $1,000 a year, $2,000 a year, maybe $10,000 a year, depending on how much money you make, right? Your four major numbers, right? We don't want to overspend, which is why, you know, when you're evaluating a network marketing company, you want to see, okay, what are all the costs? What are the necessities? What are the accessories, right? So, for example, on my list, the Legal Shield. Uh, necessities, right? The one-time fee, buying the product on a monthly basis, the twenty ninety-five a month. You know, those I would say are the necessities. The addition, the additional training, that's an accessory. You could add it if you want. The additional licensing, you could add it if you want. Maybe you don't want to sell to Canadians. Maybe you don't want to sell to the UK. Maybe you don't care about you know, selling in Jersey, New York, or Massachusetts, or, you know, anywhere, right? That, that requires a particular, like Virginia, I know requires a license. There's certain states that require a license, but for the most part, you can sell for majority of the U.S. So that's not too bad, right? And if you're not someone like me that's behind the, you know, in front of the camera all day long making videos, and you're selling in your local area, you get licensed in that one state. You pay your enrollment fee, you're fine, right? So, you know, taking that 10-year stretch that we saw on the Word doc that I had there, looking at the necessities versus the accessories, over time, you can go to a conference. Over time, you can attend a, uh, you know, a helpful training. But you don't have to jam pack it all at once. Now, me personally, that's what I like to do. I like to just kind of, okay, this is what it looks like. At least I know ahead of time. I prepare for it. I just bang it all out. I get it all done. But notice how I did it. In 2019 is when I joined. I evaluated all the cost, right? Way ahead of time. And I told myself, by next year, 2020, I will have all of this complete, right? And I would say I have majority of it complete. I'm gonna be attending a conference. I'm gonna, I've attended so many trainings already, uh, paid trainings, not the free ones, paid ones with the uh, employee benefits, uh, selling extra products that Legal Shield has to offer for a particular market, right? So I have no problem doing any of that because I use my career money, right? Set it aside, created a budget around it, funded it. All I did was stay in the game. I did not care how much money I was making in the first year. Don't care how much money I make in the second year, the third year. I don't care.
because I know over time it's going to compound, come back to me just by doubling. That's the goal. It's just to double it. Right. And look, 129. How, how easy is it to go from 129 to just double that number? It's not that hard, right? 12 months to make 250 bucks, 300 bucks. That's not hard to do. And notice how I did it. 129 then went to 1500 probably going to close out the year at 2000 or more come 2021 the goal is 12 months four grand all i have to do is make videos talk about the product mention it to my clients bring it up make them aware keep making them aware until they're ready right so that is key so we went over just to recap here we went over the legal shield costs break down, you know, the true costs. And this helps you as a template of looking at other network marketing companies. We looked at the projected revenue goals that you should set. I say double each year, right? That's a side thing. So I understand my 10x people, that's for your main thing. So if you want to 10x your income, that has to be your main thing, not a side thing. A side thing, it's impossible to 10x it if you don't put all into it because you have to, the very nature of 10x is all in, 100%, all effort, right? All energy goes to that one thing. So if it's a side thing, just create the goal of doubling. That's for me. If, say, for example, you wanted to join Legal Shield or another type of network marketing company and you wanted to make it your main thing, okay, we want a 10x, right? So Maybe you made $1,000 in the first year. Okay, the goal is to hit $10,000 second year. 10 times 10, 100 grand. Third year, you're already in the top 10% of the world once you start making six figures and up in no time. So now what I want to do is go over network marketing red flags, and we're going to type it out together. And, you know, I'm just going to go through this personally. This is what I have experienced myself being in the network marketing world for about, you know, since I graduated high school back in 2014. So I would say roughly five, almost six years that have been around the network marketing space. Okay. So red flag, I think number one is always going to be ethics. Okay. Ethics, ethics, ethics. You know, this Ethics really is who you are talking to, right? The person that is trying to recruit you. So not necessarily the company, but the person that's representing that company. How do they operate? What are their ethics? What are their beliefs? What are their core values? Get to know these people before they try and sell you into something, right? If the first conversation is just sales, that's a turnoff for me. I don't like it. I want to know who are you, why are you here, what's your purpose in life, where are you going, are you a kingdom citizen, how can we grow together, how can we help people, right? That's how I operate, so ethics, okay? The next thing is transparency, okay? They need to be honest, honest, okay? Open, right? Open book. They're representing a multi-million, multi-billion dollar company. They need to be transparent, honest, and open about what they are selling. They need to be able to show me, listen, how much money are you making so far in it? What is your experience? Okay, don't, don't sell me right, right away Okay, be transparent. So if you're dealing with someone that just goes right to the freaking, you know, whole script, it's a whole sales script, it's an online presentation, oh, watch this video, da da da, right? And they just, hey, what'd you think of the video? You know you didn't watch it, right? So you got to get away from all that. You, you want to talk to someone that is just willing to have a breakfast, a lunch, go out to dinner, uh, have a virtual coffee, just a conversation. Who are you? Why are you here? What are you working on? What are your goals? Where are you headed? Right? So let's, let's add time, effort to it. 
are they willing to put time into me to grow? Because if they're just willing to sell me to get that commission, get that paycheck, right? They're going to leave me out in the jungle of the network marketing world and I'm going to get lost. Okay? So transparency is key. Ethics is wonderful. Okay? Um, and it, this is just going over the, the, the person, right? Because I was just about to type some other stuff, you know, behavior, attitude, right? That, that falls under ethics as well. But now, company red flags, okay? Now, me personally, me personally, you know, I like to work with companies, right? Been in business a while. What is a while? Uh, I'd say maybe 30 years or more, right, maybe like 20 to 30 years or more is, is typically what I like to see. Now, depending on the industry, right? Like say, for example, the industry is crypto, right? Well, I'm going to understand if the company is only four years old, right? Five years old because crypto is still fairly new. But if the industry is life insurance, right? And the company's only been around for four years, eh, don't know, right? Or if it's a health and wellness and they only been around for like five, ten years, I can find some other well-established companies, right? That I can work with. Now, um, another red flag that we can add up here is the whole, you know, get in early sales pitch. That's a red flag for me. Oh, Denzel, you got to get in early. If you don't get in now, I don't know. Right? I, I, that's a turnoff for me. It's like, wait a minute. If I get in early now, what about all the people I sell to? Are they not going to have the same opportunity to grow as me? So that is a red flag. If they bring up that whole get in early sales pitch, you know, they say, oh yeah, you know, we're only a, we're a five year old company. We're a 10 year old company. We're just getting started. If you get in now, you're going to get all these bonuses and all these things and right. That's too much for me. Just be open and honest. Say, listen, we're a company. We're growing. We wish to expand into these countries. Okay. Yes, there is a benefit of getting in early now because we haven't opened in Mexico, Canada, the UK, Australia. We haven't even opened in these countries yet, but we're building up to it. Okay? So if you get in now, your your chances of being, you know, sent to these countries to help us help us as a company open, right? that district, that region, that country, you could be the one that opens Mexico, that opens Canada, that opens the UK. You could be the one because, you know, we're going to need a team to go there and build it. And so us as a company, if you build now and you learn the product now, you learn the business model now, you learn the material, the advertising, the marketing, the training, we would, we, your chances of getting picked to run that country, run that district, run that region, run that country are going to be extremely higher than someone else that joins five years from now. How about that for transparency, right? That's pretty transparent. So it's a red flag, the whole get in early sales pitch, okay? Another red flag is if they only talk money, compensation plan, Money, money, money. I'm not with it. Now, I'm a guy. Look, I, I'm a financial consultant. All I do is talk about money, but I'm transparent about it. I'm honest. I'm open book. I put the time, effort. I got good behavior, good attitude around it. Everything is in due timing, okay? Yes, the compensation plan is important to look at, but, you know, just don't let it be the, the primary, like, 
Like when if that's all they do is they didn't even talk about the product. They just said, oh, here's a product. The compensation plan is amazing. Let's go right into it. Here's the compensation plan. It's, it's the biggest turnoff ever, right? So what you need to understand, the minute you decide to join a network marketing company, a direct sales and MLM company, there's two ways of looking at it. You're not exactly joining the company. You're joining a team of representatives that represent that company. So it's really important to evaluate, hey, who's, up, who's your upline? Who brought you in the business? Who's your trainer? How are they doing financially? What's your group like? What are the core values, the core beliefs? Because what's really cool about network marketing is, you know, you're an entrepreneur. You get to do what you want. You set your schedule how you want to set it, right? You set it how you want to set it. So with that being said, I want to join a company. I want to join a team, correction. I want to join a team that this is all they do. This is their main source of income. So I want to leverage. So me personally, Denzel Rodriguez, my 10X plan is around my financial consulting and my YouTube channel. That's my main energy. That's my main focus. My legal shield business is, a, is another leg. It's an arm. It helps fund the main thing. It helps add more value to the main thing. It's in alignment with what I do. So when I was evaluating who am I going to work with and why, I looked at the values of that individual. I asked about their upline, their training, and I made sure that that was their 10x, that, that Leo Shield was their main thing, not their side thing. I don't want to work with someone that that's their side thing, okay? Me personally. Now, understand what I just said. I kind of just threw myself under the boat, did I not? Because I just said, I don't want to work with someone that that's their side thing. But here I am talking to you guys about Legal Shield, and this is my side thing. <laughs> so how do you make sense of that? Well, here's how I just saved myself. The team that I joined, this is their main thing. This is what they do. So I'm ensuring that if you join under me, with me, in Legal Shield, you're going to get tapped into an environment of people that that's their main thing. You can reach out to this person. You can get a hold of them in a reasonable time frame, right? And you can get the, the necessary training and support that you would need to build your Legal Shield business or another network marketing company that you're looking to join. So look at it that way. If you have a career, you have a separate business, and let's say that's your main thing, and you're gonna join a network marketing company, make sure you evaluate the company, but more importantly, the team that you're joining, the person that's recruiting, find out if this is their main thing. You want to make sure that that's their main thing or it's their desire to make it their main thing, right? You want to, you know, be a little ethical and, uh, you know, just a uh, uh, caring to the person. Maybe the person that's recruiting you, maybe they have a main job like you do and their goal is to leave that job. Well, that's a good indication for me because that says that, okay, that's their main thing. That it, it'll eventually become their main thing. Their desire is to leave that job and do this full time. They want to be an expert in that industry of that particular network marketing company. So that's great. But me personally, I like to find someone that's kind of like already there. It's already their main thing. They may have other side streams of income. I ain't got no problem with that. But their number one has to be Legal Shield, or at least that's the goal. Okay? Because I am an individual where Legal Shield is not my main thing not my primary focus. My primary focus is helping my clients get out of debt, 10 extra income, build a kingdom, 
adopt kingdom strategies, kingdom values, kingdom principles, fundamentals, build their credit, build their wealth financially, personal finances, right? And my YouTube channel. That's my main thing. And, you know, my courses, my, my coaching and things like that. Okay. So as I build that second thing, me personally, this is my second thing, I create content like this that, you know, you're able to go through and really evaluate. Say, oh, wow, you know, I, I love this guy. I really want to work with him, even if it's not his main thing. But he's got a team that is his main thing. So that's how I would evaluate that. We can close it out here. Hope this was super helpful. I tend to, you know, really beat, you know, the horse down a lot. But I think it's important because I went through, like I said, probably five to six different network marketing companies that I spent five grand there, four grand here, two grand here, six grand there. And I was obviously negative because I didn't, I didn't know. But now that I'm telling you, you know, okay, coming into this, I'm going to be negative. Coming into this, you know, yes, the compensation plan is amazing, but I need to learn how to sell, how to market, how to train, how to build an organization, build a business. That takes an extensive amount of time and training to successfully do, which is why most people in the network marketing space do not succeed because they were sold this facade, this illusion that they can make six figures by working four hours a week on the beach with their laptop. Not gonna happen, okay? It's not gonna happen. You gotta become, come to terms, okay, I'm 50 years old, I never sold a product a day in my life, I've never ran a business before, okay, you're behind the eight ball quite a bit. So I come to terms with that, I evaluate, I read the material, I research, I take the time. Don't quit. As long as you don't quit, you win by default. It's very easy to make millions of dollars in, not easy, it's very simple to make millions of dollars in the network marketing industry by simply not quitting, sticking to one company, finding a great team. And I would be willing to spend six months, a year, or more to find the perfect team the perfect company, merge it together to help me grow. And I'll leave you with that. Have a wonderful day and God bless.